Welcome to Serving Locally with me, your host, Michelle Dinas, the podcast where we spotlight service in the Longmont and surrounding communities. All right, let's connect. Welcome to this special episode of Serving Locally with me. Um, today we have a guest host, so I will go ahead and give it over to her. Hi, I'm the guest host, Lainey Dinas. And yeah, so we're going to be interviewing Michelle Dinas, and she is my mom. Let's start by asking Mrs. Longmont, how was the 2024 pageant? Hi, Lainey, and thank you for being my host today. I'm very excited about this. Um, I obviously did not win the title of Mrs. Colorado 2024, which is fine with me because I feel like I have more to do here at the local level. Um, but I was honored to win and be nominated and selected for the Mrs. Colorado Mrs. Congeniality 2024. And this award is particularly special because all the contestants and the staff vote on this one. So it's not about the judging, it's not about anything, it's about what, how that person made a difference to the contestants that day. And I ugly cried on stage <laughs> in receiving this award, but um, it was totally worth it. And I am more honored winning that than I would be winning the title. Yeah. Um, I am excited to be Mrs. Longmont 2025 and compete again in April 2025. Um, this year, the thing is be bold, bring your story into the light. And so that's kind of what this episode is about. And also just an update on what I've been up to and what I've accomplished um, in the last year or so. Yeah. So how's the podcast going? We are in our third season of the Serving Locally with Michelle podcast, Yay! which is awesome. Um, we have 27 episodes posted as of yesterday. I have um, four four episodes in editing that I'm still working on, and then I have at least six that are scheduled for the next month. And I have more that are like, hey, contact me at the beginning of the year next year or this month or whatever, to, um, that that'll work better. So I'm having people reaching out to me um, to be on the podcast or... or um, that are saying, hey, I know this organization, you should really get in touch with them. So it's been really cool. I have... I have over a hundred organizations that I have reached out to or that I'm trying to reach out to um, to be on the show. So it's a constant, it's a living document for me um, to having people come on of, of all kinds of different organizations and trying to be inclusive and include everybody and um, seeing how we can help. Yeah. So what events have you attended? Um, this last March, um, the kids and I went um, with the Boulder County Open Spaces and Backcountry Hunters and Anglers on a project that we were removing fence from um, Rabbit Mountain. And we had a lot of fun and it was, it was snowy. It was horrible. And, <laughs> and muddy, but we had a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, and it was muddy and uh, we got really cool hats from it. From BCHA, Backcountry Hunters and Anglers, and I'm trying to get them on the podcast. Scheduling is just difficult sometimes, yeah. but um, that was awesome. And then in June, we went to the Firing Range Membership Appreciation event that they hold every year, and they had the canine unit doing demonstrations. They did tours of the Firing Range, and they had some really, really cool booths um, open to talk to people. And um, it was a fun day. It was really hot, but the canines yeah. were really cool to see. If you ever get a chance to go see the de the canine demonstrations please do it, it is, is recommended so cool um and then in august we attended laney and i we attended the unity and community again this would be our third our third year doing that yeah. as mrs longmont and so we got to get in touch with a lot more 
communities, the community organizations and touch base with some people. And that was, that was fun as it always is. It's exhausting. And we almost had enough time to get through all the booths, but it it was, it was great. That's always a great event in August, um, for, for Longmont for unity and, and community strengthening and, and just, um, learning about what's, what's in the community and, and meeting people. So that was awesome. Yeah. So have you taken any classes lately? Recently, I did the Longmont Public Safety Citizens Academy that was in September. And it's four classes long. They give you dinner and you learn about all of the, everything that public safety of Longmont has to offer. And it's absolutely incredible. And I highly recommend it next year. I would love to do it again next year. I unfortunately was sick on the very last day. So I wasn't able to attend that last class. But um, the rest of it was just, it was really cool to meet police officers, SWAT team, canine unit guys, um, firefighters, and all the other people that are involved in public safety and all the amazing things that they do behind the scenes to help victims or help just people in the community, the homeless, whatever it is. Um, it, it was, it, it was awesome. There's so much more to public safety than just the police officers and the firefighters. So um, I think that that was, um, it was great and I highly recommend that. And I'm hoping to get them, some of them on the podcast to talk about what they do because I think that their collaborative um, resources is absolutely outstanding and that's something that the the communities really need right now. I attended a gaining skills to build community and destroy loneliness with my church which was 12, we- 12 weeks long. It was it was a very long class, yeah. and there were two-hour-long classes. But it was really cool to learn how to connect with people on a deep level and help them not feel lonely, help them feel loved, completely loved and completely known. And that was something that was, that was just perfect for what I'm trying to do here in building community and strengthening it. And since COVID... As we all know, it's been really hard to connect, get reconnected with yeah. people. And um, I, I really enjoyed that class. Um, I've also, I also took my food safety manager course and got certified as a food safety manager. So I have that, which I got to use this summer. And I'm also um, in the middle of taking a ketosis coaching certification class so I can be a life coach and help people go through um keto and ketosis on bettering your health and your life um, through diet and exercise and perspective on life. Wow. So what have you been doing for your work? This last summer, I was the concessions manager for Sunset Pool here in Longmont, and that was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. Um, it, was, it was really hot. It but was very hot. <laughs> it, was, it was a lot of fun, and we had, yeah. we had fun. Yeah. Um, and then I just got a job offer to be the new ICE Pavilion Coordinator um, for this coming winter. So last year, I was a supervisor. This year, I'll be the coordinator, so I'll be the big boss, and hopefully um, I can just help help it run a little bit better and just, just hopefully make a difference there and and have a lot of fun because it will be a lot of fun working at the ice rink again yeah yeah so are you still involved with the elections i am very involved with the elections um i worked the last two um sessions and then i will be working again here in november um i am the assistant lead on the second floor in the ballot processing and i absolutely love it it is so cool to see how they process ballots and how it all puts together so that way hundreds of thousands of people can vote and get their voice heard and um i'm hoping to have on you know the the different parties come on here and talk about how to get involved with with their organizations and stuff because i think it's important to be involved with that it's um it's the it's the (laughs) basis of you know how we how we how we run this this government and we need to have a voice and you have a voice and you need to learn how to use that so i think that's great um i attended my caucus in march just to be a judge to help with the elections because it has everything is in bipartisan teams so as long as i'm a judge then i can help with um adjudication or duplication when those needs arise during during the job if i didn't have if i wasn't a judge i wouldn't be able to help in that capacity so that helps me be more rounded and help out more 
Um, but during the caucus, um, I was elected to be my precinct um, PCP or the precinct committee person. And this is pers- this is the person that represents their community, a very small section of the city. And um, so I was honored to be um, elected in this position to represent at the grassroots um, my the constituents, the people um, in my neighborhood. And I'm really looking forward to the possibilities that that is going to be, but, um, and to make a difference um, and just getting people, you know, involved and get them information about what's going on. And um, I'm really excited for that. Um, So if you live in precinct, precinct 622, Watch out for me because I'm going to be coming around, handing out stuff and talking to you, hopefully. If you don't know what a precinct is, you can go on Boulder County, um, bouldercountyelections.org, and you can find the map and find your address and see what precinct you're in. And you can get in touch with your precinct um, committee person also and, um, and get involved, whether you're Democrat, whether you're Republican, whatever it is. Get involved. Learn. Get educated. Um, it's the best thing you can do for your community. Yeah. How else are you serving? How else am I serving? Um, At the church that we go to, Grace Church in Longmont, um, I am a Stephen minister still, and I help lead the supervision for them. So when we get care receivers, um, I kind of facilitate that, the meeting with the Stephen ministers so they can talk about and help each other on issues that maybe they're talking about, making sure the boundaries are being met, um, confidentiality is established. And um, just giving support and prayer Mm -hmm. um, and encouragement to each other. And that's been really, really cool. So I've been enjoying that. Yeah. Um, I've also been elected as the secretary of records for the church. So when we have business meetings, I take notes and, um, you know, let the minutes go for um, quorum and stuff. So that way we know what's going on in each meeting. And I get Mm -hmm. to sign off on important documents. So (laughs) it's kind of cool. Um. I'm also on the safety team, so every third Sunday I walk around with the walkie-talkie and have stations, and I just make sure everybody's safe and um, feeling welcome and um, you know, making sure the doors are locked and stuff. Yeah. And, and I do the trauma bags and making sure that all the, the um, first aid equipment is up to date and that we have enough Band-Aids and stuff for yeah. kids or if there's any trauma type thing that happens that we can help out and be you know, first responders at the church, which is, which is good. Um, I'm also on the hospitality team, and I've just started bringing ice every week, so I'm in the ice lady, <laughs> not just at the ice rink, but at the church. And um, I'm the lead decorator, so mm-hmm. we're getting ramped up to start decorating for Christmas. And, yeah. And that's a big endeavor, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, but we have a lot of fun doing that. Yeah. It's really nice to um, get with the ladies of the church and, and, and decorate the church and make it look beautiful and festive. Well, welcoming. And welcoming for um for the christmas season and that's one of our favorite things so that's that's something i'm doing um both the kids are got involved with 4-h this year they did rabbits um breeding rabbits and chased it um 22 shooting which he went to state for and 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 did really well in state so we're real proud of him but that's been a lot of volunteering hours and just learning how to 4-H and how to Boulder County Fair and yeah. then how to State Fair also yeah. and what that all entails. Um, but the the confidence that has given my kids and um, what they've been learning has been just amazing. Um, I highly recommend 4-H for the yes. kids, for the kiddos. It just can be really complicated. It can be very complicated. <laughs> Luckily, we had a wonderful support system, yes. so we were able to to get what we needed and, and learn and, and do well in 4-H this year. Um, another thing that we're involved in, um, I was in a project that the Longmont Community Foundation did on sharing neighbor neighbors' stories, and that just came out yesterday, which is really cool. You can find it on my YouTube, um, and um, I did post it on Facebook, I believe. But yeah. um, they did a they did an interview on me, and um, I cry in it. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> and uh, but I, it was it was really good, and I am. So excited with the things that they're doing and the difference that that's going to make and hopefully helping connect people and um, growing and strengthening the, the community. Um, and 
My husband's almost done with this racing season with the pro truck. We got one more race left to go at Colorado National Speedway. So that'll help once that's done with and over <laughs> yeah. with. But um, he's, you know, he's top five in leader points for, for championship for the year. Third in place, third in points or something like that. And yeah. um, so we're just... We're, 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 we're proud of the team and what they've been able to accomplish this year. And um, they got new sponsors and stuff, so yeah. it's been really cool. And hanging out with the family and the crew, we like to do that. Yeah. Um, and then I am continuing to homeschool my kiddos um, every day. We're, we're learning something <laughs> new, and um, I'm real proud of what they've been able to accomplish and um, their growth in the last couple of years and, and just how I'm real proud of my kids. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Um, I would like to thank my sponsors, um, Zach's Transmission 4x4, Northside Towing, District 303, hey Diane, <laughs> and, um, and Lash and & Company. Um, they've been with me since the beginning, never wavering, 100%, they get it. They get what I'm doing, and that means so much to me. Um, I'm always looking for more sponsors. I've got a couple in the works, which I'm really excited for. Yeah. Um, but uh, I couldn't do all this without them. And um, I, the, the work that they do in the community is, is awesome. And I am just so honored and blessed to have their support and, um, and be partnered up with them. Um, I'm excited for this next season of the podcast. We've got some really interesting things coming up, and um, hopefully it gets a little spicy um, <laughs> just with some, you know, the, with the elections coming up. I'm hoping to get some some different viewpoints on here, and um, I'm also really excited about um, what Mrs. Longmont 2025 will hold. Yeah. And, um, yeah, I'm just excited about everything and just really blessed and honored to be in this position to help the community, to help my family, yeah. to be, um, somebody told me I was, a, I was a beacon of light yesterday um, when, they, when they watched that video from the uh, Longmont Community Foundation that I went through all these struggles to help, um, to help somebody. And if I can help one person you know, my, that, that's just fantastic. So I'm trying to be bold and, um, bring stories into the light, which is what I've, which I've been trying to do. And so if you would like to come on and, and talk about something, or if you just want to talk to me about something, I'm totally available. Yeah. Um, I'm also excited because Chase is going to have his own podcast here soon, yeah. where he will be talking to military service members, veterans, and just talking to them, letting them share their stories, getting some insight, learning about some history, and just um, connecting with those, with that specific group of people. And I think that is going to be just so cool. And I'm so proud of him for wanting to take that step and gain that confidence to do that and be brave. And I think it'll be very entertaining. Um, since he wants a mic on this podcast, um, he'll have his own and that will be just great for him. So is there anything you would like to add? I don't think so. I do appreciate you are my partner in crime. She goes along with me to any eyelash appointment or <laughs> hair appointment or unity and community or when I'm working, she likes to go and help um, help out doing stuff like that. So you'll always see my little mini me with me um, <laughs> doing stuff. So thank you so much for hosting today and yeah. I'm very proud of you. Thank you. And um, yeah, I'm excited for what we do. Yeah. I also just want to thank my son, Chase. He's 13. He's behind the camera, helping run the camera, helping to run the sound. He's my little producer, and he's been doing a great job, and I just appreciate that. And I just appreciate all of my supporters, all the people that believe in what I'm doing. Um, it makes a big difference to me. It really does. And if you want to get involved, let me know. Shoot yeah. me an email. Give me a call. Send me a message on Facebook or Instagram. If you want to partner up on something, if you got an event going on, if you want to be on the podcast, or you want me to, you know, represent your business. Um, if it's local, I would love to do that. So um, thank you. And uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> I'm honored to be Mrs. Longmont and I'm honored to be able to host this podcast and I'm blessed to have my kids and my family along on this journey and their support. Thank you. Thank you to my guests, my listeners, and my supporters. Serving together, we can strengthen our community. Please like and subscribe. Do all those other things. You know you got to do them. Because that's the easiest way that you can serve right now. All right. Now go. Connect with others and be a blessing. <laughs>